Good evening, everyone. Um, 欢迎大家参加我们的第四个晚上的研究。Well, welcome to the fourth night of study. 我们也谢谢啊、uh, ，Carl 和他的太太的贡献的音乐。Thank you, Carl, for and Mrs. Carl for the music presentation. 也许是中国人对这个四可能有点忌讳啊，特别广东人。<laughs> I think the Chinese have a superstitious way about four, especially the Cantonese Chinese. Ah, uh, everyone And everyone to want to jump over number four. And sometimes I went to the hospital. There is no fourth floor. 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 There is no Uh, floor thirteen. Don't have that either. <laughs> oh no, no, no fourteen either. Ah, but it's not important. So, we today, we hope that this fourth lecture will be able to bring us some surprises in China's hidden and secret places. And I would like to, on the fourth night, to bring you some wisdom and mysteries. Or for the Chinese、uh, classic culture. I, and by the way, four in Chinese means death, so that's why it's unlucky and some superstition. <laughs> and then this topic is that we learn from the ancient China, China about ecology. 那么我们为什么不像现代中国学呢？因为现代中国的生态啊是非常糟糕。And why not the modern day China? Because the ecology in the modern day day China is, uh, is terrible. 我们在走到世界上，中国人真正引以为骄傲的不是现在的中国，而是古时候的中国。And then when you go everywhere, when you meet the Uh, uh, Chinese, they are always proud of the ancient China, not the modern China. And if you talk about China,、um, the mainland China, there is not very much to be proud of. Taiwan is the same. Why is it so proud? And the same thing with Taiwan, there is nothing much to be proud of. Hong Kong is the same. There is nothing much to be proud of. And then, you, and then you go to Hong Kong. The same thing. Nothing much needs uh, 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 deserve mentioning. But then, if you go back to the olden days, then they will be different. And then there is a painting on、uh, on the screen. It, it might look a di very different from the Western painting. And in this、uh, painting, that、uh, reflects the、uh, relation between nature and、uh, human. And then we will later we will come back to this point. And then nowadays, a lot of people pay attention to our environment and the ecology. Because our environment is getting worse every day. Whether it's the、um, pollution. Or the ocean, or the、uh, global warming, or greenhouse effect—it's all getting worse every day. Our living environment is getting worse every day. And then on the 21st century, in the uh, uh, 70s, and then we were talking about there's a limitation of growth. 那么，在一九七二年，在联合国就开了一次会议，第一次有一个人类环境宣言。And then, on in 1972, the United Nations had a meeting and talk.、Uh, there is a declaration of、uh, human and environment. 
。那么，一九八三年的十一月份又有一个文件，叫做《我们共同的未来》的文件。In in nineteen eighty three in the, um, uh, November, and then the, we have a, a report about our common future. 一九九二年，联合国又出了一个文件，叫《二十一世纪的这个议案》，是一个非常有名的一个环境方面的议案。And then, nineteen ninety two, there is a twenty first century agenda, and it's a very famous one. 到这个时候，我们就开始思想人类究竟经过了一些什么样的文明时期。And then that time, we were trying to think of、uh, The, our human race has been through what kind of a civilization? In and in, in the Western world, it started with the agricultural civilization. And then, then there is an industrial revolution, so there becomes an industrial civilization. And then this、um, industrial revolution just、uh, um, shocked the whole world, and then it spread out to whole, the whole wide world. And then in, in this、uh, short 400 years, people realize this kind of revolution is.、Uh, Uh, um, revolution going toward per,、uh, perishing. And the industrial revolution、um, brought on the、um, crisis in ecology and also the existence, the existence of our life in、uh, crisis. 中国的这个危机这两个字是很有意思。I think the word、um, crisis in Chinese is very,、uh, very interesting. And the two characters meaning is a dangerous opportunity. Uh, it's a danger thing, and it's also an opportunity. So, whether you succeed, whether you fail, and see how you use that opportunity. And then, so a lot of people are trying to discuss what kind of civilized art. Today's civilization, what would it bring? And then we are discussing about the Chinese scholar thinks that the,、uh, somehow this civilization has、uh, forced us to the brink of our. Grave. And there's an English, the a British scholar Tang Yingbi. Tang, Tang Yingbi. Donald. Arnold Tang Yingbi. And then he's a, a great、uh, his, historical scholar. He studies. 他认为呢，我们这个生物圈、生存圈的这个资源是有限的。And he thinks that our existing、um, our circle is limited. 但是我们对它的使用已经使这个有限的东西变得已经不能让人能够继续的生存了。Okay, so that the, our life use up all these resources, so that we can no longer live on. 那么爱因斯坦的评价就真是更是让人感到。And Einstein also has、uh, his idea, and that really is shocking. He, as a great scientist, he said that science in the war period brought us the kind of destruction that we experienced in the war period. And then he speaks from a scientist's point of view, and he said the science、uh, during the war was makes us kill each other more. He said that science in the war period makes us kill each other more. And during the peacetime. 
，只是给人增加了这个压力，让人的生活有更多的压力，而并没有带来。And then it, it, during the peace time, it just brings us more pressure and really not enjoyment. So he, as a top-notch researcher, he thinks that our science does not bring us any good things. And for a top-notch scientist, he said that science didn't really bring us much uh, pleasure. And then because of the um, 相对论是 Rel relativity、um, brought us the atomic bomb. 在广岛，在日本的广岛，长期扔下了原子弹。And then so then they threw a, a atomic bomb in Japan, Nagasaki. Nagasaki. 现在科学家研究发现德国人呢是很有意思。And then also、uh, some scientists study about the German. 他说德国的科学家应该是可以造出原子弹。And then they said the German, uh, uh, the scientists in Germany should create the、uh, atomic bomb. 但是他们为什么没有造出来呢 ？And then how come they didn't build the atomic bomb? 有人就得出这样的结论，因为这些科学家他们的良心迫使他们不可以造出来。And because these scientists, um, they bothers their conscience to build such a bomb. 然后他们就跟说，哦，要一万五千马克就够用了。And then they said we only need um uh fifteen hundred fifteen thousand mark that would be enough. So Hitler gave them one thousand five hundred mark, nothing they didn't do. And then they,、uh, the Hitler gave them fifteen thousand mark, and then they、um, didn't do anything. And they said the atomic bomb should be weighed one ton. Americans found this. 这个德国在造原子弹已经有了重水了。And then,、uh, when the uh, uh, the Americans did、uh, discover that the um, um, the Germans already had the H two O two, they already have the H two O two. 所以他们就派了一些人，派了一些装甲师到德国去抢一些科学家，抢过来。And then so then they they sent some people to Germany and brought it back. So that's the、um, plan of、um, Manhattan. The atomic bomb was. Ah, Manhattan plan is so the big scientific beginning. And then Manhattan plan is be the beginning of the great science. It is the result that they made a bomb with one ton of material. And then they create. Uh, invented a bomb only weighed at one kilo. I think that the, after they、uh, they invented that, the very next day they threw the bomb. So, this Einstein says that this science didn't bring any good to humanity. And so Einstein thinks that the science didn't really. Bring the human race any joy. He said, "If I have a choice, I will never become a scientist." He said, "If I have a choice, I will never be a scientist again." He said, "If I have a choice, I will never be a scientist again." He said, "If I have a choice, I will never be a scientist again." He said, "If I have a choice, I will never be a scientist again." He said, "If I have a choice, I will never be a scientist again." He said, "If I have a choice, I will never be a scientist again." He said, "If I have a choice, I will never be a scientist again." He said, "If I have a choice, I will never be a scientist again." He said, "If I have a choice, I will never be a scientist again." He said, "If I have a choice, I will never be a scientist again." He said, "If I have a choice, I will never be a scientist again." He said, "If I have a choice, I will never be a scientist again." He said, "If I have a choice, I will never be a scientist again." 具有讽刺意味的的是，美国是今天唯一的一个国家，让人家把原子弹给它消灭掉。I think,、um, I think,、uh, kind of sarcastically, United States is the only country willing to let people destroy their their own atomic bomb. Because this theory is saying that because they have their own insurance policy, because the 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 theory behind it is if we had it in our hand, it's not guaranteed. If if the bomb is the nuclear bomb is in the hands of the Koreans. Per se, it's not safe. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, if it's、uh, the bombs in some other people's hand, it would be not safe. It wouldn't be safe. 但是唯一的使用过原子弹的，哎，就只有美国。But the only one who used actually used the、uh, atomic bomb is only United States. 也就是说，只有这一个国家拿着它是最不保险的，因为只有它用过。<laughs> Actually, it's the, you can say it another way because American has used the atomic bomb, so that is the unsafe, the most unsafe person to have it is the other Americans. So, very obviously, today this world is very chaotic. So that we know this world is kind of chaotic.
那么世界环境专家呢，有这么一个人叫做 Sturgeons， 他就说，应该中国文明对于人类社会和自然之间的关系有着深刻的理解。中国思想对于那些想扩大西方科学范围和意义的科学家和哲学家来说，始终是一个启迪的深泉。啊、uh, ，There is a m environment、uh, expert. I Stanger said the Chinese、uh, civilization for the human race, and they have a very deep understanding about the society and the nature. So the Chinese thinking would be would should good to expand the Western uh, science uh,、um, science and the meaning. Of those philosophers, and then it's always a very deep foundation for expanding the knowledge about ecology. Ah, his meaning is that we can learn from Chinese people. That is a profound inspiration. It's a profound inspiration. It's a profound fountain for inspiration. Okay. All right. Thank you. So, Chinese people, we think about ecology. So, in ecology, we don't have this concept. This is Western thinking. I think the ecology, the, for the Chinese, there is no such a concept. This is the Western、uh, thinking. They 提出这个概念的最早呢是一八六九年由德国的一个生物学家提出来的 I think the very first one、uh, thought about the ecology is a, a German named、uh, Ernest Haeckel, and then in 1869. 换一句话说，生态学就是研究住在这个地球上的这个各种生物之间和环境之间的关系。And then so ecology is a, um, a school of study that study the uh, uh, environment and the、um, living beings。那么对于西方和东方来说，我们对待这个自然的态度啊是有一些不一样的。Compare the Western way and the、uh, Eastern way。Their approach to the nature is kind of different. 对于西方来说，恐怕主要的态度是征服自然。And then for the Western、uh, thinking is to conquer the nature. 他觉得这个自然呢，应该我们应该用我们的科学去征服它。And then so the Western thinking is to use our science to conquer、uh, the nature. 对于东方，对于中国来说，这个自然是我家里的一部分。And then for the Eastern thinking, that nature is a part of my family. 我应该去探索它，而不是去征服它。I just go to explore instead of to conquer。去认识它。To try to know the nature。那么我们可以看一个最近的一个一个报道了。我们做一下做一个这个比较。And then the, there is a recent report、um,。最近呢，在九月份呢，中国这个神神舟七号呢就啊发射成功。I think in September。The China,、uh, China, China launched、um, a spaceship as a satellite. A spaceship, a spaceship. Sent it out to the outer space. It's called the Shenzhou Number Seven. 那么意大利的一个报纸就这样评价说，在这个神舟七号上面呢，它带着前人类征服宇宙的梦想。I think in the Italy there is a newspaper saying. Uh, in uh, because of this spaceship、uh, that brought the whole、uh, human race try to conquer the universe, the a dream of conquering the universe. 宇宙这么大，有一种吸引力，吸引人去征服它。这是。Because the universe is so vast, and then so that wanted us human race to conquer it. 那我们看一下中国官方对这件事情他们是怎么样来评价 ？And then let's see how the Chinese officials、uh, look at this uh, uh, this uh,、um, uh, endeavor. 中国的这个胡锦涛是他们的这个 president。他说呢，这个神舟七号表明了我们古老民族与生俱来对未知世界的探索的勇气。And then this the president of the、uh, People's Republic of China said. Uh, this uh,、um, uh, astronaut, their their thing that show that our ex the courage to explore. Ah, 没有提到征服这件事。And then did not mention anything about conquering. 
我觉得这个世界是很奇妙的一件事情有时候 I think the world is a very very mysterious 我记得在1986年的美国有一个Challenger上天 I remember in 1986 the Challenger was launched to the space 但是刚刚升上去就爆炸了 And then when it um, just started uh, ascending it exploded 我不知道你们中间有没有人记得，一九八六年发生的。I wonder if many have remembered that event. 两年之后，美国再发了一颗这个飞船上去，这个名字改了，叫 Discovery. And then the two years later, they launched another spaceship, and it, it was renamed Discovery. 那么这个呢，就成功了，就没有问题了。Okay, Discovery succeeded. So I do not know how to. Uh, explain it. And then some of the concepts in uh, China, in China uh, it's, uh, uh, it's not correct and then sometimes being misunderstood by others. I think because the, these two phrase uh, idioms being misunderstood that create a lot of chaos. Uh, I think the first uh, the first one is the um, uh, nature will always overcome the human race. Uh, and then the second one is saying just the opposite. Human race will always overcome the nature. 那么毛泽东啊，他有这种认为，他认为呢，如果我们人一定能够胜过自然。And uh, Chairman Mao always thinks. That we can always overcome the nature. So he just started to struggle and, uh, uh, against nature so that makes a mess, made a mess out of the whole China. I think that kind of understanding is wrong. I think that actually the meaning of uh, the second verse is say, if we can get together, we can just overcome some difficulties in our environment. Uh, in other words, even though the environment, the conditions may not be the best, but if we unite it, it's better than to be scattered without uh, uh, with a better environment. That's what it means. So, okay. So, for a thousand years, are the Chinese environments getting worse and worse? And then, but the Westerns also have some misunderstandings. Uh, where, where is the source of this misunderstanding? I have about two sources. And then first is the Renaissance. And then the Renaissance trying to um, liberate people from the um, religion. So then they, um, they liberate them from theology, so then there will be the enlightenment and all these things happen. So the science is no longer, no longer is made for the uh, theology. theology. And then, then the science was worshipped by all. So they think that uh, in, uh, science is not only an independent subject, but then science can overcome and then co-conquer the nature. This is a This That is one kind of thinking. 另外一个呢，也是对基督教的一个误解。And 
And then another one is、uh, the misunderstanding of the Christianity. 就在这个七十年、七十年代啊，六十年代有一个这个叫做 White 这么一个人 ，Lin White， 他写了一本书，就批评西方人受到基督教的这种错误的影响，结果对自然呢也发生了一些误会。Okay. And then Lin White in 1967 and wrote a book and then、uh, talking about um uh because of the Christianity. And they have some misunderstanding of the environment. He said, "Christianity has a problem, which is that it believes that man is the center." And then the the biggest trouble, according to Mr. White, is they the、uh, Christianity thinks that man is the center of the universe,、uh, the world. He mainly understands the understanding of Genesis chapter one, verse twenty-eight. And then because he was using Genesis chapter one, verse twenty-eight. 因为在这个这里呢，他说的是 subdue it and rule over， 用的是这样的两个词。Because in that verse it contains the two words subdue it and rule over it. Subdue， 他就认为就是 overcome， 就是就是 conquer， 就是去征服。Interpreted as the, to overcome to conquer the nature. 所以西方的神学，我们去研究以前的神学的话，对人和自然的关系多半都是朝着这个思路走的。And then, so when we study the theology, it seems like we always going in that route. 而且呢，在这样一个背景之下面，在科学和神学的两个方面对自然的误解上，西方对自然采取了掠夺的这样的一种方式。Okay, so through the science and then also through the misunderstanding of the theology, so they just thinking that the nature is to be conquered. 所以怀特就认为呢，这个环境之所以被破坏的根源就是宗教问题。Okay,、uh, Mr. White thinks that the root of uh, uh, environmental problem is because the root is the religion. 这个他的推理是这样子的，他说你是否保护环境是因为你的观念问题。He thinks that if whether you going to protect the environment is because of your um uh, uh, your thinking. 可是你这个观念是靠你的价值观来决定的 ，and then but then your thinking is based on your value system。你的价值观又是靠你的宗教信仰来决定 ，and then your value system is based on your faith。因此，你用什么样的宗教信仰，就决定了你对自然、对环境有一种什么样的态度。and then it, whatever your religion is that will affect your you how you treat the environment。那我们知道，现在有以前的有个副总统叫 Al Gore， 他就现在很推环境保护，是吧 ？I think uh, uh, the the past the ex、um, vice president Al Gore, he's the one to trumpet the um uh, advocate the、uh, environment protection. 那么现在这个神学家们提出来呢，啊，我们以前搞错了，以前的基督教全部理解错了。And then, so a lot, some theology think that we have misunderstood a lot of things. We are not here to subdue the nature. We are not going to conquer the nature. Not to ask the nature to obey us. 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 那么这个变化只是最近这几年才出现。I think the, this kind of concept just started a few years ago. 但是呢，我们回到有很多事情呢，让我们就觉得这个拿着一本圣经还能搞错，这是让人们很难理解的。Okay, now sometimes it's kind of hard to understand that we have the Bible in hand, but then we still make mistakes. 他们回到中国去看呢，中国没有圣经，可是他们对自然的关系，他不是这么理解的。And then, but then in China they didn't have a Bible, but they didn't they they didn't understand the environment that way. 所以我们在西方现在看到了一个，他这个对人和自然的关系，经过了三个阶段。I think in the Western、uh, concept, uh, uh, the evolving have three steps. 首先是人和自然的一种对立。And then the human race and nature are against each other. 那么后来变成了
。现在发现对立错了，现在就是啊，所有的人和其他的完全平等的。Okay, then they think that's wrong. So then, human and nature are、uh, equal. 我们都是这个人是自地球是我们的家。Oh,、uh, the Earth is our home. 但是人类不是独生儿子。But then it's not the only son. 他说这个动物其他的都是地球的儿子。It's because all the other animals they are also、um, belongs to the earth. 所以我们和动物都有同样的生存权。So we have both the animal and the human race have the same right to be existing. Ah, I think this view, at the moment in Poland, in this place, many people are holding this view. Ah, sorry. Ah, many people in Poland may have this、okay. concept. Okay, many people in Poland might have this kind of、uh, idea. Some people think this is not enough. And then some think that's not enough. They even go one step forward. And then they go one step forward. And then they go one step forward. 啊，他就开始崇拜这个自然了。And they try to worship the nature. 啊，我相信在波兰这个地方，可能也有很多人是这样的。I think many people in Poland probably holds that view. 所以我们看到他这个一步一步的，总是不能走得很平衡。And then so there is steps, but then it's not very stable walking. 那么为什么这些个环境学家要提出来要向中国学习呢 so, ？So why these environment environment specialists want to Learn from the Chinese concept. 好了，我们来看中国的这个环境呢，它是在天人合一的这样的一种基础之上。I think the、um, the ecology in China is based on the、uh, idea of、uh, heaven and earth are become one. Oh, what、well, we can say the unity of heaven and the man. Either way. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> 那么，你比方说，在中国的绘画里边，他画这个山呢、啊，画这个水啊，但是里边呢，不会单纯的只是山和水，一定有一个人的。I think when you look at the Chinese painting, you will see they have the scenery. There's mountain, there's river, but among all the mountain and river, there is also a little figure of the human being. 它不会只是山和水，它不会很少这样。Just mountain or just river. It 反映了它这种哲学，人和自然，它是总是要连在一起的。And then that just reflect the kind of uh, uh, a view of、uh, nature and man are always together. 你看看这个啊，这个这个这幅图，它画的是这个月亮。I think this one is a painting of a moon. 那个自然是很美的，但是这里呢，你看它有人在欣赏。Okay, see that it's a very beautiful scenery. So there is also To figure on people, if we look at the Chinese painting, it's not very many people. But if we look at the Western painting, very seldom you see the、uh, man among the nature. We, 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 Okay, if the, the Western painting is if you are drawing nature, then just only nature. If you are drawing a figure, a person, then just a person. He he 没有办法把这个人画的好，他就把人的衣服脱掉啊，都是很多这些画就出来了。这是西方就开始搞这个东西。Okay, <laughs> the Western would draw a person. They would take off the, all the clothes and draw a, a naked person. Ah, this he is because the nature. He says the nature is naked. Okay, then they said it's nature because naked nature is naked. They 没有办法把这个东西搞在一起 But it's somehow they cannot just mingle these two together. 你看这个这幅画里边也是画的是这个潮水，但是这里边有一个塔，哎，有塔就有人在里边 Okay, then this one is about the Thai. They draw a Thai, but then there is still a, a pagoda. In the pagoda, there will be human beings. 而且它反映了在这个这个鸟、这个人、这个潮水之间的一种一种交融的一种一种喜乐，一一种对自然的一种啊，可以说崇拜啊，一种陶醉在里边的这样一种状况。I think the the painting depicting the of a Thai and then some birds, and they are all mixed together harmoniously. 我们写的诗歌也是这样子的。古人的诗歌也是这样子的。In the Chinese poem, it's also reflecting this idea. 他这个诗歌里边也要描写大量的这个呃环境之后呢。
And then, in the poem, they try to um, describe about the scenery, how beautiful, but to the end, they always put the person in there. 那么中文的我就不念了，我们就大家看看这个英文的好了。Okay, we will just read the English part. Okay. It, this is about uh, you know talking about a mountain after rain. Okay, it's okay. It's, after rain, the empty mountain stands out now in the evening moonlight in its groves of pine, stones of crystal in its brooks. That sounds like English. I'm not sure. <laughs> it may not be a good translation. Not, not very good. <laughs> okay. I copied it somewhere. <laughs> okay. Bamboos whispered of washer girls. Oh, that's found right. home. not very good. <laughs> okay. Um, I think. Uh, we better we better do it ourselves. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. 空山新雨后，一个空空的这个爬山，在刚刚下雨之后。uh, it's an um, um, uh, empty mountain right after a new rain. And the air is in the autumn. And the, the moonlight shines through the pine trees. And the, a, a stream of water flow above the rock. And all these are very, very peaceful. And then you hear something active. And the bamboo start moving because there's a maiden uh, washing his clo her clothes. And then this uh, maiden, and then he, she had a little boat trying to pick the uh, lotus seed. Okay. Uh, and then so the, uh, the author just say, um, uh, ex, uh, ex, even though. Uh, yeah, saying that, oh, even though the, the spring is over, but you are still here. That is still spring. And then that just depicting that the nature and the his feeling is always together. I don't know what you get something out of it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this is what we have done in the first part. That is, and then some of the people just trying to paint a painting with that point in mind. Okay, this, this is another uh, poem with the painting. And then it say there is a poem in the painting and a painting in the poem. Is that similar in a Western uh, paint? I, I don't understand the uh, art. The, how about the Western painting? It is a very similar idea. There's a paint, painting in the point and point in the painting. Okay. Okay. Could be uh, similar. Hello, now we move to a different perspective. Okay, we move to Okay, now we are changing another angle to look at it from the Confucius point of view. And if a loving, if a loving person, he likes mountain. And a, a very wise person, he likes the water or river. And then the wise person likes things active, moving. And then the person who uh, is a kind and likes to be calm. And then so the wise person is always happy. And then the one who's loving lives a long time. What are they talking about? What is he talking about? 他的意思说, 这个人呢, 就看山, 看水, 
可以从山水之间呢来构造自己的这个品格。And then so you look at the mountain, you look at the water, and that will cultivate your character. 你看到这个水这样不断的流 ，and if you see a water keep on flowing. 你就觉得你的生命就像水一样的流过去，没有再回来。Your life is just like the water flowing by and will not come back. 很快就流过去了。And then very soon it will be flow away. 所以要抓紧时间。So then you have to hold your time. 你站在这个大山的面前。And then you stand in front of the mountain. 你看到大山里边什么鸟、什么什么鸟啊、什么动物都有。And you see the mountain contains of so many things, birds and all. Trees or other things. He just feels that your life's this chest is wide, is to accept all. So you you need to open up. You need to accept to accept things. Just accept everybody. Okay, to accept. He's bearing all things. He 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 那么这是讲人的品格，他这个孟子呢是孔子以后的学生了。Okay, Mencius, Mencius, Mencius is a student of Confucius. 那比孔子晚了一百多年。But then it's a follower, so he's about one hundred years beyond. 他还在耶稣之前的四百多年。And he's Mencius is about four hundred years before Christ. 那么他说：“我们在这里种务农啊，做什么事情好？不能违背这个天时，不能违背这个。” And then he said, "Whether we are cultivating the nature, be a farmer, we cannot go against the heaven." 那比方说你去打鱼的话，那个网的那个孔啊，不能太小了。And then if you go to fish, you cannot use the net, so it has very small holes. 因为小太小了的话，那那个小鱼跑不掉了。And then if it's uh, the net is very the holes are too small and the, the small uh, finger fingerlings cannot escape. 它只能够让这个孔大一点，再补那个大鱼，让小鱼可以再继续的生长。So you you need to have the net uh, with the bigger holes, then you only catch the big ones and let the li little ones live. 那这里面表现了有一种很很好的一种生态意识。And then that's a very good uh, ecology view. 他说的这句话呢，是被认为是最好的生态学的理论。Okay, and Manchus said one phrase, and then people think it's a good ecology view. 他说：“你顺服天，你就能够昌盛；你背逆天呢，你就就要灭亡。” And then if you obey heaven or environment, then you will be prosperous. If you go against the environment or heaven or environment, you will perish. 啊，这个道理从今天我们是大家都学到了。Okay, so this kind of concept we learn today. 他讲到这个，还有一句话，不知道怎么翻译：天时不如地利，地利不如人和。And then also there is a saying that um, uh, time of heaven is not as uh, good as the benef benefits on the on the earth, and a benefit on the earth is not as good as the uh, People treating each other, people being harmon, uh, harmonious. Uh, does that get across? Okay. Yeah. 这里他所强调就是人的和睦是最重要的，这是第一位的。I think that that's what he was trying to emphasize is, uh, people can become harmonious with each other. That's the most important thing. 有了这个之后呢，这个这个地理的环境呢是的确是重要，但是这是第二位的。And then so the second thing, secondary is the uh, earth, our environment. 然后这个老天是否下雨啊，或者干旱啊，那个呢都是第三位的。And then so the weather or the heaven, uh, whether it will rain or dry. That was be the third important. So he says that this environment, if we put it in ecology, the most important thing to protect the environment is to have peace. And then, if you apply it on the ecology, so the most important thing is that people can live harmoniously together. So we are one hand here to protect the environment, one hand here to fight. This is not a very good balance. If we try to protect the environment, but then we are 
warring with each other, and that's not a good idea. That is wrong. And then if we can uh, live harmoniously together, all the others will be okay. 那么我这里有一些例子，其实我也不懂这个东西。Okay, okay, there is an example I do not quite understand. 他就是说，比方说春天去打猎的话呢，那个怀孕的动物你就不要去打了。And then if you in the springtime you go out hunting, don't hunt those uh, animals that's pregnant. 那那它这里边也有一种保护，让这个动物继续生存的概念。And then so that means to let the um, let the animal propagate. 在公元前的十一世纪，甚至于还颁布了一个法律，你这个随便砍伐的话要定罪的。Okay, in the uh, uh, 11, 11th century, 11th century, uh, 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 BC, 11, 000, 1100 BC, there is a law, if you kill any pregnant animal, then you are, you are, you are offended the law. 这个就大概是圣经里大卫王的时代. I think that it was uh, when King David's uh, Period time. Uh, so at the King David's time, there is a law to protect the environment in China. Um, and then yesterday, when we talk about the Tao, then we mentioned this verse. And then uh, human beings should uh, obey the, the, the earth. Okay. The, uh, the, the earth should have the law of the heaven. The heaven should uh, obey the Tao, and Tao's control all the nature. 那么这些的概念呢，是让我们感觉到中国人的概念中间，这个天人它是一致的。And then so in this Chinese uh, way of thinking, the heaven, the environment, and the the uh, human race. Are you in one unity? Okay, so that we in the Chinese um, uh, concept is we have to honor heaven and then we have to take care of the nature. And then, but this kind of concept, they would uh, um, uh, become practical in everyday life. And then through the everyday uh, uh, diet, we can see that how they protect the Environment. Okay, then we will study the health uh, or the nutrition in China. China Study. And there is a book called the China Study. Doctor Campbell uh, It's a, uh, uh, by the uh, doctor. Campbell of the Cornell University. And then they did about two, 20 years of study in China. And then they have discovered some very surprising uh, results. Okay, that's a, there is a, a net. The address. Okay. And in that book, they would have talked about eight principles of uh, health. And then through the study of the Chinese diet. I think nutrition represents the combined activities of countless food substance. 那么第二个原则说, 维生素补充, 并不是给人带来真正健康的灵丹妙药, 坚持平衡的膳食, 才能维持最佳的健康和预防疾病. Okay, vitamin supplements are not a net panacea for good health. And then we have a, a, a balanced diet is the 
is、uh, will bring you good health. 那么第三一个，他说多吃这个动物性的食物有害健康，多吃植物性的食物有利于健康。Um, if you eat a lot of、um, uh, animal or food, animal-based food, it's、uh, bad for your health. But if you eat a lot of plant-based food, that would good to your health. 那么第四一个，他说基因并不注定你一定得哪些病。调整食物能够防止有害基因的表达。And then if the genes are not really、um, decide if you have the、uh, disease or not, but then if you can control and arrange your food, that will、uh, that might um, uh, um, influence the expression of your gene. 营养可以有效的控制有毒化学物质的不良影响。And nutrition can substantially control the adverse effect of the noxious chemicals. 那么还有呃第六一个是改善膳食，既能够防病，也能够治病。Okay, if you change your diet, and you can prevent the disease, and also can heal some disease. 这句话呢是很重要的。I think that is a very important statement. 因为在美国。大家是不允许讲这句话的。呃、uh, ，because in United States you are you are not supposed to make such a statement. You are not supposed to tell people this is the truth. <笑><笑>因为在在它是这样的一个，因为在美国的这个医学和它已经不再是一个学业了，不再是一个医学，而是一个 business. Because、uh, medicine is no longer. A sub a sub of a study, it becomes a business. It and then it was associated with the insurance company. 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 Pharmaceutical company have also relations. 那么医药的这个研究人员又是靠这个这些个公司来资助他们做研究的。And the, the researchers also have a relation with these、uh, pharmaceutical company. They are supported, sponsored by these companies. Okay. 所以你得到的这个结论，你不可能不，它不可以让你突破它的。So then the, the they they have this、uh, conclusion, and it's very hard to break through. 我在美国有很多的做医生的朋友。I have a lot of friends.、Uh, they are doctors. 有一个他们不说出去的秘密。And they have a secret for others. 他们总希望这个 return patient. They like the patient to return. 他不会一次把你治好的。They they will not cure you just by one visit. 在中国，这以前也有这样的事情。I think in China also have this kind of things. 有些病它是可以把你治好的，但是它不要，它要一次一次你回来。And then they, they can make、uh, make you well in one visit, but they want you to come back. 那么现在有人对科学做了这样的一个研究。And then some people study the science. 说现在的科学和科学家已经没有道德了。I think the scientists、um, have no virtue anymore. No morals anymore. No moral or virtue anymore. 早期的科学家。他们是独立的，他们是敬畏上帝的，他们独立的来进行科学研究。In the early days, the、uh, the scientists respect God, so they are independently studying about the science. 他们没有什么利益，没考虑太多的利益。And they don't think about the benefit or profits. 现在的科学都是靠利益来。But then nowadays, the science is pushed by the benefit. You. 这个例子就不用去说了，有很多很多这样的例子。Okay. I think there is a lot of、um, examples for that. 这里就是说，你可能不需要吃那些药，只要用饮食就能改变你的这个状况。Okay, the same nutrition that prevents disease in it in its early stage can also halt or reverse its later stages. 他说：“对于某些慢性病有益的营养，对于全身健康同样的有益。Some of the,、uh, some of the nutrition which is good for the chronic disease and also benefits、uh, 
your your holistic health. 那么最后一个呢？第八个原则是良好的营养造就全方位的健康。And then so good nutrition would um give you a holistic health. 他们发现，在中国的这个呃癌症呐、啊，什么乳腺癌呀、啊、高血压呀、啊、糖尿病呢、啊，比美国要低得多。I think they discovered such as um 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 uh, diabetes or um cancer, um breast cancer and high blood pressure, if which is all these kind of common disease and then also heart disease is much lower in China than in United States. 那么同时也发现，在日本，西方饮食没有进去之前，日本的平均寿命在全世界是第一位。I think before the Western um diet uh went to Japan, the Japanese uh, um uh, mortality is the number one in the world. They live the longest. 那么不到三十年的时间，日本的这个呃寿命就降了二十六位。And then, but in but after the Western uh diet went in, and then it dropped twenty six positions. 差不多，差不多一年就等于一年了。Okay, so each every year they drop one. 这里有一段的话，他说：“科学证据确证无疑。”研究结果令人震惊：动物蛋白，尤其是牛奶的蛋白，能够显著的增加癌症、心血呃心脏病、糖尿病、多发性等等等等这些病。Okay, this、uh, shall I translate that? The main idea is milk is、uh, is something to cause cancer. Okay, I okay I, I、uh, the science、uh, data show without. And then it surprised everybody. The animal uh, uh, protein, especially the milk protein, and then could increase cancer, heart disease, diabetes, multiple sclerosis, kidney stone, um, osteoporosis, high, hypertension, cataract. <laughs> um, um, okay, and uh, um, what is that? Uh, Uh, dementia, and and all the most surprisingly, all these diseases you can be adjusted by your diet. 奶牛之所以产奶，因为它要生小孩子了。Because、um, the、uh, the mama cow, <laughs> because they're going to have a baby cow. So okay, I'm going to ask some very simple questions. Okay. 它为什么会生小孩子 ？Why? 为什么生小牛 ？Why does the、uh, A、uh, cow have a baby, a calf. Because, because she is pregnant, right? 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 This is a surprise answer, probably. Is it through the im artificial impregnation? This calf is never seen before. The calf has never seen the calf. It has never been married. Because the calf never is in love. 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 So all these、uh, milk cows. 我们继续来。那么这个奶牛它为什么会不断的产奶呢 ？How can the cow produce milk continuously? What do you think? She was continuously pregnant. <laughs> 它怎么会不断的 pregnant 呢 ？How can the cow? Continuously preg、uh, being pregnant. Be、to be to to okay, so just continuously make that cow pregnant. 那么一个牛怀孕呢需要这个三百零五天。从从怀孕到生下这个牛需要三百零五天。I think the pregnant time. 
for a cow is 305 days. 一个奶牛的一生呢，大概是这样的一个历史。Okay, that's the history of a milking cow. 十六个月的时候，它就大概成熟了，可以生 baby 了。Okay, he、uh, the cow mature after 16 months. 然后呢，她就大概一岁多就莫名其妙的就怀孕了，从来没有谈过恋爱。Okay, never, never in love, and he got pregnant because of artificial impregnation. 两百八十天以后，这个母牛就做了妈妈了。Okay, after 280 days, the little cow become a mama. 然后呢，大概又过了三百零五天，它又开始停止产奶，这个时候可以休息一下了。Okay, and then after 305 days, and then the <coughs> cow stop producing milk and then and rest. 这个时候它休息两个月 And then rest for two months or 60 days. 然后它又要生孩子了 And then he will have another impregnation. 那么六十天以后呢，生下这个孩子又来一个新的轮回 Okay, then after 60 days, another cycle. 大概七八个轮回以后，这个牛就不能够再怀孕，也不能再产奶。Okay, after seven or eight cycles, then he can no longer the cow she can no longer be pregnant or to produce milk. 然后就把它杀掉。And then it will be slaughtered. 这个就是我们喝的牛奶就这么来的。The milk that we drink is produced that way. 那么，那怎么办呢？这个这个牛它它也是一个动物啊。And the cow is an animal. It also, its hormones must be balanced. And then the hormone has to be balanced. It has never seen its other side when it is pregnant. It has never seen the one that is pregnant. It has never seen the one that is pregnant. It has never seen the one that is pregnant. It has never seen the one that is pregnant. It has never seen the one that is pregnant. It has never seen the one that is pregnant. 那么把这个这个牛在吸奶的时候呢，第一次让它奶出来时，就把这个小牛拿过去给它看一看。And then so the first time when they go into milk the cow, they will show the little calf. 让这个小牛把它的奶吸出来。And then to let the calf、um, suck the milk out. 然后就把这个小牛跟母亲就分开了。And then so they separate the calf and the mama cow. 然后就换上机器。And then after that, they will use the machine to milk the cow. 然后用机器来吸这个奶 ，and then to so use the machine to extract the milk. 刚刚这些话都是很，很很有，好像把这个挤奶啊说成一种文明啊，好像是高尚的一件事。Okay, this is, a, this is a milking civilization. 那么，你怎么能够保证它在怀孕的过程中间，它总能够不生病，总能够产奶呢？ And then how can you guarantee that during the pregnancy the cow will not not get sick or keep on producing milk? 就只能不断的打抗生素。And then so they just keep on injecting antibiotics. 这样能保证它不生病。And then so they will guarantee it will not get sick. 保证它能够把小孩把牛生下来。And, and guarantee that they will、uh, have the Give a del deliver the baby cow. 保证它的牛奶能够不断的能产。And then to guarantee that it can keep on producing the milk. 对于这个工业化的这个奶厂来说，这个牛它不是牛。And then to the industry of milk industry, a cow is not a cow. 是一个生产的资源。It is a, a production、uh, source. 它也不把它当成这个牛来对待。And then they are not treated as a cow. This cow's body is not able to distinguish these chemicals. And then in the uh, uh, cows uh, physically cannot、um, digest the med 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 medication. So it is through milk that it is excreted. And then so these、uh, these medication will secrete it from the milk. 然后我们就把它买过来。And then we bought the milk. 我们究竟是喝的是奶呢，还是喝的是毒呢 ？And so we are we drinking milk or some poison? 这是这是一个非常根本的一个，它就是这么产奶的。非常，这是个事实。I think that is the fact. That's how the milk was produced. 人类的身体到个三四四岁以后就没有这种转化奶的这种酶了。I think in our human body, 
then after four years old, we have lost the enzyme to digest the milk. 小牛过了几个月以后，它也没有这个这个转换奶奶牛的奶。And then a little、uh, the calf, after a few months, when he grew up and he cannot digest the、uh, milk from the cow. 没有一个成年的牛要继续喝牛奶的。And no, a, a grown-up cow keep on drinking milk. 那为什么一个成年人要喝牛奶呢 ？And then how? Why adult human beings have to keep on drinking milk? 为什么一种一种生物要喝另外一种生物的奶 ？And why one creature want to drink another creature's milk？ 这个是不自然的。And that is not a natural way。而事实上，通过产奶，这个草地被占用。要要养牛的话，养奶牛的话，这个草地大量的草地被占用。Okay, when you want to raise cows, you need a lot of、uh, grass field. 而大量的草地占用势必要把一些用来生产粮食或者种树的这些个可耕种地全部破坏了。And then so if you use a lot of pastures to for the cow, then you destroy a lot of lands to produce some um some um part some. 这就是一个恶性的循环，就破坏了我们的生态。Okay, that is a vicious cycle, and then destroy our uh ecology. 啊，不仅如此，这里边牛奶里边大量的这个抗生素，大量的种的这个育苗啊，怕它生病的这种育苗，全部都喝在人体里边。<笑> And then so a lot of、uh, antibiotics, a lot of vaccine, vaccine in the cow, and then it was absorbed into our body. 中国历史上是不喝牛奶的。In、uh, the Chinese history, we don't drink milk or cow's milk. 中国人喝牛奶不到一百年的时间。I think it's just within the last 100 years start drinking milk. 现在在中国大陆牛奶出了问题，大家都觉得很紧张。I think in China that we have a milk powder formula problem, everybody was tense. 啊，本来就不应该喝的。I think that in the first place they shouldn't drink the milk. 因为对人体没有任何好处。It has no、um, benefit to the human body. 只有对那些个。那个商人有好处。I think only benefit those um, uh, 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 merchants. 如果我们去研究，去网上去查，你们去找了，我可以找到很多的资料。牛奶对人体的害处。刚才我们这本书呢，也给了大量的事实证明。I think if you go to the net, you will find there's a lot of uh, um, side effects of milk to a pe- to toward human beings. 但是没有任何一本书比这个 China Study 更有权威性。它证明这牛奶绝对是。And then only the China study is the most authoritative one. They prove that the milk is not good for anyone. So, if we want to learn the Chinese health or today's health, we should go back to a natural Chinese ecology civilization, and we should go back to the nature way. Maybe we should have a new beginning. And maybe we should have a new beginning. 一个新的健康的原则。We have a new way of uh, uh, health uh, uh, principles. 回到一种上天为人类所制造的这样的一个健康原则上。And then, so to go back to the、uh, heavenly God、um, uh, way. 那么可能呢，这个第一个呢，可能就刚才讲到营养是很重要的。Okay, the very the new start, the beginning is nutrition. 除了这个营养之外呢，我们需要去有足够的运动。And then the next will be exercise. 然后呢，要有好的这个水。And then good water. 人累了以后都是用水去洗澡的。And then I think the human beings take a bath in with water. 没有人去用可口可乐洗澡的。And no one use a Coca Cola to wash, to bathe. 基本上在你疲倦的时候。能够让你精神振奋、让你解除疲劳的那个东西，大概是可以喝的。Okay, only if you wanted to、um, have some、uh, to wake you up, then you take a Coca-Cola. 如果你能拿咖啡来洗澡，那个咖啡就可以喝。If you can use the coffee to uh, uh, to bathe in the coffee, then you can drink coffee. 如果你可以用这个牛奶呀、啊、或其他的饮料来洗澡。
那你大概也可以喝。If you can use the milk or any other product to bathe, then you can drink it. 事实上，那些东西都不适合。Because all these things are not fit for drinking. 所以要用这个好的，要用水，要有大量的水分。Okay, then we need a lot of water. 要有这个阳光。We need a sunshine. 要帮助呃，要要要多一些这个帮助我们的骨质钙化等等这之类的。Okay, that to help us with our bones and everything. 那么我们需要这个有节制。And then we need to have temperance, self-control. 啊，不能够中国人讲不能暴饮暴食，有一顿没一顿。Okay, the Chinese the Chinese principle is you don't drink, eat a lot or drink a lot at one meal, at one sitting. 要有非常有节制的。And then you need to have control and regulate. 因为病从口入。And then the Chinese said, "The sick, the the disease is through your mouth." Okay, a lot of this, um, disease is started by eating. Wrong we need a uh, air, good air. Sufficient rest. 那么还有一个最重要的呢，要有这个，要对上帝啊，要充满了信心。And then the most important is to trust in God. 那么有很多人都有这样的一个经验。A lot of people have this kind of experience. 特别是在中国的中医里边。And especially in the Chinese medicine. 如果是两个医生开的同样的药，它的效果是不一样的。I think if two doctors prescribe one medicine, the effect is different. 如果这个病人看到是一个年纪大的呀，对他很信任的这个医生，他拿回去那个药的效果就好一些。I think if a, uh, if a patient see a doctor who is elderly and very respectful, and then the same medicine will make him well. 如果是一个年轻医生，这个自己拿了他的药以后都没有信心。I think if it's a young doctor and this patient didn't quite trust him, and the medicine would not work. 如果是药是这样的，我们对于创造整个宇宙的这个天，如果我们有足够的信心的话，对我们的健康也是非常有利。Okay, so because of if the medicine can be that way, so if we have faith in God, and our health will be good. 如果我们是谈那些个生态学的理论、哲学，那对我们有什么益处呢 ？I think if we just talk about the um uh the theories or the things about ecology, it doesn't. It's not really very helpful. And then we have to just apply it to our daily life, and it will be helpful. So may you have a new start. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you heard about American Dream. In the 1931 and 1831, there was an author who wrote about American Dream. The Find what American dream is, and now today after election, and there's even more talking about American dream. That's right. And you can come to this state, and you can realize your American dream. But there is actually there was there has been uh, always a Chinese dream that was kind of lost today. And uh, tomorrow we want to discuss that and trying to find out what is that dream. Would that be possible compared with American dream? Would that be on the same level or different uh, expectations? And how can we realize that? And uh, that is a dream the Chinese hunted for thousands of years. And we have always identified the wrong source and the wrong way to attain it. And uh, it will be fascinating. I, I hope okay. it will be very good. <laughs> okay. Any questions for tonight or any comments? Yes. It is an expression, and you, in the Bible you don't find them drinking milk. They eat a manna on the way, 40 years. God didn't give them milk those 40 years. <laughs> so, it, it's, it's an expression used in those days to describe as a good place. It's plentiful. Okay, other questions? Yes.
啊、uh, ，那个是一个不同的情况。The question is, the shepherds they will drink、uh, milk from the animal, and that is a natural way. That is, there is a relationship between the the cow and the shepherd, and the shepherd take care of the sheep. Therefore, as exchange, and they do that, and it's not much、uh, like what we are describing here.、Mm -hmm. But even though. <coughs> The studies show only. Now it is interesting. The Western in the body in the Western people's body, and Africans' body, they discovered there are some enzymes that can digest milk. In Asians, in general, there's no such thing among the Asians. So then the scientists start to ask the question: Which comes first? What caused the Africans or Europeans in their body to have this enzyme to be able to digest the milk? Is that because they have it first, or it is this is、uh, mutation? Is it mutation? Mutation is a mutation, which is maybe a bad sign. So they are debating on that. But one thing for sure, the milk history is not very long, generally.、Hmm. Over here. You you realize that what I did tonight is I quote、uh, the China study, and then I just describe how the cow get milk, how we get it, because I'm not a medical professional, and there there will be many questions that's beyond my ability. But this much I know: what is not natural, no matter how, what kind of scientific name you put on it, eventually you will suffer from it. So somehow all those Chinese people had calcium in their bodies, didn't they? <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Thank you for coming, and invite a friend. Come tomorrow night, and maybe your dream will come true tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs>